Once tonight, um, biggest thing really happy for our senior group. Um, great kids, great leaders. You, you want to win that last regular season game at home. And obviously, we had a bad taste in our mouth losing uh, last night. So, really proud of the effort. Um, I know the rest of the group really wanted the, uh, the seniors to get that one. Uh, just cool to see Alex get a goal tonight. Uh, it, was, it was awesome. Um, I mean, to, to be really close with him um, for the past four years, and uh, he's just an amazing kid, amazing teammate, um, works, his, works so hard every day in practice, um, and I think you know, he can shoot the puck really well, we know that um, from practice, so to see him get that one, I, we were saying, I think our bench celebrated more for that one than we did for the bean pot, so just kind of goes to show the type of group that we have, but uh, just super happy for him. Yeah, just add on to that. Um, you could see by our bench celebration how excited everybody was. Um, he's a guy that like he scored 15 goals in junior. It's like he knows how to score goals. Um, it's been a long time coming for him, um, but you know he comes in to practice every day. He has a job lined up for next year, but despite that, he's one of the hardest working guys on the ice every day, um, and he shows up with a smile on his face. And that's that's saying a lot because that's hard to do. Um, you know, we work hard, long hours. Um, and on top of it, he's working a job and doing grad school. So props to him, and we're all super stoked for him. Coach, kind of a two-part question. Knowing that you guys didn't secure the top spot in the conference as of last night, do you think that kind of impacted the t like the first like ten minutes of the first period, and having you guys kind of take control of the game after the fact, and then having senior night on top of that, um, aiding in your momentum from that point forward? Yeah, just to go back to last night, you know. I uh, learn from it, move on. It, it was an ugly game last night. Um, some of that was what UMass held into us, and some of it was just us uh, probably not playing our best last night. But it, you know, you, you move on, you learn, and, and the big thing was to come back and respond today at home. It's a big, it's a big win for a lot of reasons. The seniors, um, last regular season game, you want to get some momentum going into the playoffs. You want to be playing your best hockey. So uh, for us, that was the goal today. Uh, one game at a time. We're back to that now. Um, 60 minutes, and, and that's what we're able to do today. Um, third period, Devin Levi, 21 saves, and ramping up six in the first, 13 in the second, and that 21 in the third. What did you see from him on the ice out there tonight? Yeah, he, he battled, and, and you know what? That's the tough part when you get up by, you know, five goals in the third period, and you get you start to get a little bit loose, um, start tasting penalties, and. Uh, much as we talk about it, it's a little bit harder to play in a game like that when you're up by five. And credit to UMass Lowell. I mean, we talked about it. That that team is, you knew they're not going to quit. They're going to play the same way no matter what the score is. They're a really good hockey team. They play a hard game. Um, you know, you kind of feel bad we left Devo to dry a little bit. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, he was there to make some big saves. Hopefully that's, uh, he gets, gets him feeling pretty good going into next week. Last night's game was pretty clean, and then tonight took a lot of penalties on both sides. What was the tension like? How is that different from last night? <coughs> yeah, um, last night they let let more go. I thought um, Giants started to get it again. Once once games get you know two, three, four goals, sometimes um, guys start to trip a little bit, and uh, it's just kind of the nature of it. Um, and tonight I thought there were a lot of tripping, stick penalties, things like that, that I'm not sure, um, you know, if they were meant to, but stepping on sticks, whatever it was, but we we got to clean that up going into next week for sure. Our special team's got to be dead on next week. we got to stay out of the box. We like our team 5-on-5. Five five. Um, you know, obviously, like, you know, shots on goal, they aren't everything, but you had scored 50 games and throughout that time period, you had three or less shots on goal in all the games that you've been off the score sheet, you know, two or less of those, them none last night. To be able to shoot the puck more tonight and get the goal sort of, what's the mentality like for you to try to get more shots? And is that something you're cognizant of? Because and how do you sort of see the you know, process versus the results? Yeah, I would say, um, you know, I don't look at it too much about how many shots I have. I think um, last year, I think I had less shots, more goals. Um, so I, I, it's not really too much of a set that I'm too focused on. Um, but you gotta shoot the puck to score. Um, and you know, the uh, last couple of weeks I've been fighting it a little bit. Um, and it was just kind of a big thought of mine today was like, let's just put more pucks on the net. Um, you know, I, I like it when I'm shooting the puck a lot more and usually get to be engaged in the game and um, you know, good things seem to happen. So uh, we played some really tight checking games the last few weeks. 
um, you know, we've been winning, so I'm not I'm not complaining at all. So, uh, but it was good to get that one, uh, you know, and get moving in the playoffs with a you know good momentum. The decision is a challenge. Uh, that first goal is that something that you, you saw on the video board or someone buzzing at you? Guys no, that's, that's Mike Jamison up top. It's a great call right away. It's a challenge. Yeah. So, all the credit to Jamison. 